The church is the fullness of Christ. Colossians 1 and 18 says, And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he, Christ, might have the full preeminence, most important place. Did you know that Jesus Christ is not complete without us, his body? By us I mean the whole church, the ecclesia, the called out ones that are to rule and reign, God's governing body on the earth. We are inseparably united with him. 1 Ephesians 1, 22 and 23 says, He has put all things under his feet and has given him to be the head over all things to his church, which is his body, and it is the fullness of him that fills all in all. He is the one, Christ Jesus, is the one who is filling everything all over the earth with himself. Ephesians 4 and 10. Yet his fullness is, is the church, which is his body. And this should help us to understand our importance and our relevance to Christ, that we are in him. He is in us. Jesus Christ is in you, and it's through you that he expresses his love to the world and establishes his kingdom upon the earth. You are his extension in the earth because you hail from him and you are connected to him. He said in John 15 and 5, I am the vine and you are the branches. He that abides in me and I in him, the same springs forth much fruit. For without me, you can do absolutely nothing. So this is the Father's grand design for Christ to need us just as we need him. He is our glory and we are his glory. In John 17, 19 to 21, Jesus prayed that they also may be sanctified through the truth. I do not pray for these alone, but I pray for all those who shall believe on me through the word of God, so that they may all be one as you, Father, are in me and I are in you. I am in you that they also may be one in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. This prayer of Jesus is fulfilled in us today. He has made us one with divinity. 1 Corinthians 12 and 13 says, For by one Spirit we are all baptized into one body. And then 1 Corinthians 6, 17 declares, He that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit with him. We are literally commingled with the Holy Spirit as one divine creation. For it is by one spirit that we were all baptized into one body. Whether we are Jews or Gentiles, whether we are bond or free, we have all been made to drink in one spirit. This is 1 Corinthians 12 and 13. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Repeat this after me. I belong in the family of Christ. I belong in his called out ones, the ecclesia, the governing body of the earth. And in Christ Jesus, I am in divine health, wealth and splendor, prosperity and glory. The glory of God is seen and manifested through me to my world. My life is a continuous manifestation of the life of Christ and of the supernatural. Blessed be God. 1 John 4 and 17 says, In this union and communion with him, love is brought to full completion and it attains perfection with us that we may have confidence in the day of judgment with full assurance and boldness to be able to face him because as he is in heaven, so are we in this world.